Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. It's an ASOS and it's time for some more Blood and Bones. Lots of fun going on. First thing I want to do is go check in on the tree farm. Uh, a couple things. Oh, oops. Let me grab uh, some filler because somebody, somebody, several people told me <laughs> that uh, I need some uh, filler materials here uh, to fill up that planter if I want to make it plant specific area. So I just want to check that out. The, the next thing is. I was surprised at this. Let's see. We just well, we've only got a few left here. Okay. So first of all, you notice there's a, a sapling just sitting there. That's supposed to get collected, and didn't. Next thing is watch this energy as it cuts down that tree. Let's listen for a second. It should cut it down any second. Three, two, one, go, go. It must be checking the very other side. There it goes. Watch that energy. Okay, that almost got halfway down. So that used 8,000 RF. And what I had noticed happening, I've turned the planter off right now, so just so you guys know. Uh, what I had noticed happening is it's actually running out of power. And uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, first of all, if I do this, if you don't tell it what to plant in certain areas, it'll just plant whatever it can. So I'm going to fill that in with just dirt right now. I guess it, it, I guess I just need one piece of dirt because it doesn't actually consume it. But let's do that. And the next thing is I need to get more power to this guy because it's running out of juice. And I think that's what's messing up and letting uh, saplings lay around here on the uh, surface instead of getting them sucked up. So if you get two or three trees with a lot of leaves or whatever near each other I was hearing it you know do the this and then it would go tonk, 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 tonk. and I think when it's doing that it's messing up um, and not grabbing stuff properly so that means okay well first of all let me turn on the planter because I want to see this work um, okay so we're gonna put the, the rest of these in so I have collected a few oak saplings. I think I put one stack in and I've got all, you know, almost four stacks now. Okay, and there went a couple of spruce saplings. So it is working. Uh, and can soup stacks off. Okay, let's let's go ahead and break that and then let's plant. Okay, so that's going to plant what did, we, what did we tell it? Spruce, oak, and birch. Okay, so spruce in this corner. Yeah, that's working. Oh, here comes the birch. Nice. Okay, well that explains what was going on there, and there goes the oak. So that's all good. Didn't really quite understand that before, but uh, but yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's fine if it plants whatever at anywhere, because this is going to harvest as soon as anything grows. Uh, the only thought I had was if we want to maximize our um, saplings, like for the witchery ones, we may want to actually manually plant these and make sure that they get harvested before the next one grows. Or put like one kind there, one kind here, one kind here, so that they're spread out a bit. That, that's all I was thinking about it. Um, okay, so we need more power into this thing. When, it, when it's not harvesting, when it's not cutting down a tree, it's fine. It's just hanging out, no big deal. Uh, but we need to add more power, which of course means you need to upgrade your energy conduit, right? Wrong. That's a mistake we all make, including myself. The energy conduits can actually transfer an unlimited amount of power. That's true, an unlimited amount of power. But it says right here it'll only do 80 RF per tick. Um, that's 80 RF per tick per input or output. So what I just did is I connected it to two faces up there, and now it can do 80 RF per tick, for instance, on the top, and... ADR for tick, for instance, on the side. So now this will do 160, and these, you know, going along, uh, will transfer the entire 160 RF per tick, no problem. So that's uh, that's a trick for you to be aware of. But the next thing is, uh, it is just tearing up my uh, hardened energy cell. I had that thing completely full. Uh, now the good news is I've got a bunch of wood here. The bad news is I need to get all over into this. So, I, you know, I maybe I should have given this a little more thought, but 
well, what I'm going to do for now is I've got two cyclic assemblers I've put together and these guys aren't too bad I mean it's the machine frame and the redstone reception coil which is we've done a couple times then you got some tin gears some bronze and a uh, brass chest and the brass is the one thing that you can do is zinc pretty much the only thing you can do is zinc so copper and zinc make your brass so it is worth getting some zinc early on but not worth a whole ton uh, so what I want to do think I'm going to put that there that there oh darn these need power well um uh, I was going to say I can run power here, but I need to get um, I need to get an item duct snuck in here too. I don't really want to cover up that, but let's do that for now. We'll cover we'll cover up the front of this. Okay, so that'll get power from here. That'll get power from here. Now these guys do use power, but it's a tiny amount. Well, they got a decent sized buffer, but basically it's going to use uh, where's the power? Here it is. Uh, 20 RF per operation. So every time they do something, it's going to take 20 RF. That's basically what's going on. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to put an item duct here, and we're going to put an item duct here, and then what I want to do is make that an output, make that an output, uh, but I'm going to need to filter this one, so we're going to need to use a servo, and I want to filter, thank you, Anya, that's what I wanted was more more of those. I want to filter that at the moment just on oak wood I think. We'll, we'll just run the thing on oak wood uh, and that should work. So we're going to do uh, oak wood as a white list not a black list and basically it's going to say go ahead and pull out all the oak wood put it in here. Go ahead pull all the oak wood out put it in here. Is this the thing where it only pulls from half? Or what did I do? Oak wood stacks. Oh, I know, because this is not a valid input right now. That's turned off. Uh, we want that side to be an input. All right, pull all the oak wood out and put it in here. There we go. All right, so we're going to put all the oak wood in here. Then we're going to convert that into um, um, what are they called? Planks. And then we're going to convert all the planks into uh, slabs. All right, and then we should be, end up basically with oak wood in here, planks in here, and slabs feeding into the furnace over here. And rather than using up another um, pneumatic servo, I can just go ahead and throw a, a lever here, and that will allow us to turn this one on because I don't need to filter that. Anything in this um, output should go out I think. Let's double check that. But anyway, uh, the last thing I'm gonna need, which I forgot to make, is a couple of schematics which take lapis, right? I think they take lapis. Let's take a look. Schematics. Uh, two paper and one lapis for a Schematic, and I need two of them. Do I have like paper? Yeah, we got, uh, we got this. I may have paper around somewhere, but this is quick and easy, so let's do that. Why am I going to a different one? I don't know. Two of those, uh, no. Two of those, and two of those. We get two schematics. These are blank schematics, of course. And now we're going to go put it in the machine to tell it what these guys are going to do. And we should have, okay, so Oak is um, ID 17 metadata 0, and Spruce apparently is ID 17 metadata 1. So I don't actually want to burn up all the Spruce and Birch for the moment. I, I could, but what I want to do is go ahead and say use metadata, and now it's going to only do 17 slash 0 and not uh, the Birch or the Spruce. So let's just put that back in here for now. I, I mean, I can, but I just thought I'd just start with the oak, and uh, we should be good there. All right, let's do the schematic. Hmm. Why did it do that? Okay, this guy is set for oak whitelist 
Oh. It was unused metadata. Must be NBT then. It's set for ignore NBT. Let's try setting that to use NBT and see what happens. Uh, okay, so schematic we put in... Uh, how do we do this again? This is weird. Uh, I think you put it in here? No. You can't put a... That's not a schematic, that's why. Uh, you put a schematic in, and what we want to say is... Uh, one wood equals... Or actually, no, you don't have to tell it equals on this, do you? You just put in a piece of wood, and it will say that's going to output two of those say yes and now it knows the uh, oak to plank schematic and there it goes it made some planks for us now that as soon as I turn this on it's gonna oh that outputs not on okay we'll turn that output on in one second because what I want to tell this guy is on your schematic you are going to make half slabs there we go bam and this guy needs the left side turned as an output, and then there we go. We get all the planks, they get turned into slabs, and then this guy pulls them out and it's back stuffed already, which is great because now this guy's burning them up. And we're making power again. The next problem is going to be, will it rain enough to keep up with this? So this really isn't expandable. Um, I guess you could make multiple weather collectors and bigger tanks, but it's not super expandable. So I think this is about what we're going to get for now. It's not going to be uh, super, it's not going to be something we can just keep adding to as we need more power, but uh, I think we should be all right for the moment. So let's take another look at the tree farm here, and I want to make sure that this thing is not running out of power. All right, so that looks pretty good. It's got another one over there to take out. Let's give it a second to find that. Because that one just was finishing and it was still fairly high. So it's not enough to keep it um, topped off completely, but I think it's pretty close. Come on. Get to it already. Finally. Oh. Oh wow, it's it is still going down, but it's not as it's not as fast as before. So, and it's still missing some of the saplings. I don't know why it's missing some. So obviously those are just going to hang out up here until they despawn, and that's uh, nah, that's not cool. That's not great, especially if it's like birch and spruce are harder to get saplings on. But uh, at any rate. Yeah, I think that's okay for the moment. I guess what I could do, whoops, turn that back off. Um, I could actually put more, well, what the heck? I mean, I guess I got them sitting on here. Uh, let's try it. So I should be able to put these like so, which is good for the output side, but we're also going to need to beef up the input side. I don't suppose I have a third face that I can get to easily. Well. I can go outside and break the wall, at least for the moment. Um, okay, right, because that's already going downstairs. That's fine. So here we go. So that will output uh, from this side as well. And yeah, that should that should increase the amount of power up there. That's a lot of power that thing takes up when it's chopping wood. Chopping wood. <laughs> uh, okay. Good timing. Let's 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 watch it. Let's watch it. As soon as we get done waiting for it. There we go. It okay, so the numbers went down just slightly, but um but yeah, just barely. Okay. Uh three dumbs eighty? That that's a lot more power than I expected a, a, a harvester to take, so I don't know if that's been cranked up in the mod pack, or if it's always been that way and I never noticed, I suppose by now, uh, by the time I would have one of those put together, I would typically have a uh, hardened energy cells going on and everything, and probably just wouldn't even notice it. Oh, I got a cover. Yeah, I should put that back on. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to take a little break. I just wanted to start with that. Let me get a few more things lined up, and I'll be back in a little bit.
catch you, well, for you guys, catch you in a couple seconds. All right, folks, just back for a second here. I found out a couple things that I'd show you guys. Um, the reason that this was pulling all the wood out is it had use or dictionary on. And the ore dictionary, if you load over this, says log wood. And if you float over this, it says log wood. So in the ore dictionary, these are all equivalent. But uh, that that's why that was happening. So if you ignore the ore dictionary, use metadata, I don't think NVT matters, then this works properly. The other part is we need to do that because this uh, schematic is actually for oak wood planks equals oak wood slabs. So this does not use or dictionary or metadata or anything like that. It requires oak. So even though these will come from there and into here, they won't get turned into planks in this case. And if they, well, they won't, right? So it, it just gets stuck there and you just get birch wood stuck here. So, so that's it. Um, but this is working and it has used up all the oak wood, but the good news is it's still got lots of planks hanging around here. So it's uh, it's going for broke. Ah, there we go. And we're out of water. So now for the first time in Blood and Bones, I'm hoping for rain. What I may need to do is just shut off the harvester and let it build up some water. Oh, but we are having a nice positive surplus of energy. So we were down past 50%. So we are making energy quite well. But we're going to run out of water here. And this is going to um, come to a quick a stop very quickly until we get some more water. Now, I do have some emergency supplies over here. I guess I could use those up for the moment. Uh, you just take a bucket and do your, your bucky thing from one to the other. But uh, maybe I need to make a bigger tank if I'm going to do more with this. Looks like we're already at the point where we're using up all the water that we have available. All right, there's eight buckets of water just for now. And uh, like I said, we're getting to the point where we're almost topped off again. Once it gets topped off, this will lower its output, which means it'll use wood slower, which means it'll use less water. So. Actually, are we about there? How close are we? One. Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll cut out a few seconds here. We'll just wait for this to finish. All right, and there we go. We're almost completely full. This is now full. Well, except the harvester just kicked in, but uh, it's pretty darn close to full. We've got just a little bit of water left. But what's going to happen now? is it's going to build up an internal buffer and as it does that notice the power output is going down so this guy can put out a max of 80 rf per tick but if he gets his internal buffer completely full as in nobody's using any power he'll go all the way down to 4 rf per tick uh, so really what's going to happen is this guy's going to kind of start bobbling up and down a bit as the harvester uses some power he'll crank himself up and and keep the energy cell charged and then if the harvester doesn't use power for a while it's going to fill its internal buffer buffer and uh, slow down the power output which again is also going to slow down the water usage so yeah now that we've got this refilled uh, we'll have to see how the water usage goes it, it may kind of even out we may be okay uh, or we may need a bigger tank and another weather collector and all that stuff I don't know okay again let me take uh, minute and go get some other stuff ready and I'll be back yes it's raining outside it's literally been three Minecraft days um, I was starting to get a bit worried here because I was completely out of uh, water and I actually turned off the planter thinking if the planter is off there won't be much going on up there and it won't uh, won't be as much to harvest. So we'll turn that back on. Um, I did double the amount of storage we have here. So I put two hardened tanks on top of each other, moved the weather collector up one, and then I had to run the power up through the ceiling. But I used one of these nifty hollow stone bricks covers to uh, cover that up. So I think we're pretty good. And if you, this isn't in NEI, but the way to make the 
hollow ones is you take eight of the normal covers or whatever micro block it is and then put it in a uh, you know around the outside of a crafting grid just like you would make a chest basically all right so i am happy to see we are getting water now and everybody's happy again so we got a twice as much storage here <sighs> yeah we're dang we're pretty low on power actually it's uh it's been quite some time and that thing ran out of water and just stopped generating power. So there you go. Uh, got lots of different wood and stuff. Getting some apples. Um, I've actually got this set up. I'll show you down here now. I've got it set up to pull out spruce and birch into barrels. But vanilla chests, double chests, actually are two different inventories. So the bottom half is a different inventory, inventory from the top half. So it's actually only taking out of the bottom half, but that will help make sure that this chest doesn't fill up when I'm not paying attention, and that should go into these. And I could add a couple more barrels here because I do have uh, Rowan and Hawthorne and whatever going on too. So maybe I'll add a couple more barrels there. But uh, what I'm really trying to do is get some progress going on getting to the dream world. So I have put in... Um, I guess it's downside up. 16 Rowan saplings, and I got four whiffs of magic. I thought it was three. Hmm, four. I put in 16 um, alders, and I got seven reek of misfortunes. And now I've just put in uh, 16 hawthorns, and we're going to get some of the odor of purity from that. All right, so first thing I need, I need a bucket of milk, which I've got. I need three clay char, what? <laughs> three clay jars, an odor of purity, a uh, bucket of milk I should have right here. Let's make this. I'm not going to do the super speedy crafty thing because this, this is something that people haven't seen a million times before, um, including myself. This will be my first trip to... The dream world so it should be exciting yeah so so this is why anyway anyway this is why i'm saying we need quite a few saplings because here i've gone through half that stack and we got one of those odor of purity things so uh it's going to take quite a few but no worries man we're getting tons of saplings up there all right let's make our purified milk in a crafting table would probably be a good idea do like so and like so. did I make this? I already made this. Talking and forgetting. Okay, I've got the whiff of magic. Uh, I've got some cookies made up. I've got some icy needles. Brew of love. What do we need for that? Golden carrots. Um, we can do that easily. Enough. Let's grab... Well, I've got more nether gold, so I'm not too worried about that. I just need to process it, I guess. And carrots, I have millions of carrots, so no problem there. Maybe I'll eat a carrot too. Uh, I guess we can start with just one. Oh, heck, let's make two. If I'm going to make two, I need more nuggets. Here we go. I have two golden carrots. Now those actually... Boy, I haven't made a golden carrot in a long time. Do those give you regen? Because if those give you regen, that actually might be a pretty good thing in this pack, come to think of it. There we go. Uh, 16 wood ash. I already used up one odor of purity, so um, got three out of that. So kind of random numbers, but look at the saplings. I mean, I just got saplings going, going, for cra going like crazy here. And this oven seems to do just barely more than eight per coal, but not enough for nine. So I don't know. If you do Tons of them in a row, maybe uh, maybe you get a little tiny extra. I don't know. Whatever. We were working on a brew of thingy. Okay, I need a lily pad, a cocoa bean, and a water artichoke. Let's grab that. And grab some cocoa beans. I don't know how many. Nine, apparently. Just the number of the day. And I know I grabbed a couple of lily pads. Are they in here? Yes. Okay. I think, I think we have everything we need. Roses, roses, uh, plants. Now I've got some roses. I told you, 
grab roses when you see them and the yellow one the yellow flowers too because you never know when you're going to need those suckers and there's no shift click okay great so uh rose carrot whiff of magic lily pad water choke yeah there's no way i'm going to remember all that rose carrot whiff of magic uh water artichoke lily pad cookie i don't know what the heck else was that um rose carrot lily pad that okay cocoa beans oh this is a kettle recipe okay my bad guys i told you this is the first time i've done this this is not a normal crafting recipe we need to make a new witchery thing actually that means we got to make two new witchery things and we're not going to have enough time to do that today what's the timer say the timer says i have wasted our time doing the wrong thing um all right here's a quick teaser let's just take a look we're going to have to make a kettle which i think is not too tough well, you need an attune stone. Okay, cauldron. So we need some iron, some sticks. Attune stones take the whiff of magic, the diamond, and lava bucket. So it's not super easy, but not too bad. And that needs power from an altar. And what that means is we have to make the witchery altar, which is six of these blocks. So I need to get six exhale of the horned ones, six breath of the goddess. Um, no, because it does three at a time. I need two of these, two of these, two bottles of water is easy, two rolling woods is easy, and two, or whatever, stone bricks is easy. Uh, exhale the horn one. Oh, that's just oak saplings. That's easy. And breath of the goddess is birch saplings. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to get all that prepared. I'm going to get a little altar, altar going. I knew it was coming. I just, I didn't realize I needed it to make that brew of love there. So I think this is going to be at least our temporary altar room. I'm going to move these cactus out somewhere else. And uh, we'll get an altar set up here. We'll get a kettle going. And pretty soon I think we'll need the alchemy thing too. So uh, there's going to be a few different witchery guys to make here real soon. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you back next time. I'll catch you later. Thank you.